up everyone, Axel here of AxeTruth.com and this is where I cut through the bullshit. <laughs> oh, I'm on these Democrats' ass today. <laughs> but you know what? The Republicans ain't shit either. They're just as weak. They're, they're, they're weak. They have no spine. They have no backbone because they enable the Democrats to do the destruction that they're doing. Well, uh, the Democrats are a fraud. They're nothing but frauds. They are... Uh, they are frauds. They operate. Their modus operandi is projection. They're no, you know they have nothing, absolutely nothing to run on this year. Uh, but fear, fake, manufactured fear, division. Trump. How are you running on Trump in the midterms? Trump is not in office. The Democrats have the presidency, the House, and the Senate. What They were supposed to come in and correct and fix everything because everything was so screwed up, remember? I played in the last video, Obama coming out co-signing it, saying that the country's better off now than it was prior to Joe Biden coming into office. I beg to differ. But now we have, uh, I beg to differ, and everyone else who has common sense can tell that, no, we don't like this. We want 2019 again, and I got receipts for that. But in the meantime, let's first go to Kathy Griffin. Remember Kathy Griffin, Shem? Um, Shem is out here um, with a threat. Shem then put a threat out here on Twitter because she needs some attention because she's not really working, so she has to try to do something, I guess, to get some kind of press. Some press, no press, you know, even though she didn't learn from her last thing when they, when, when they had the blackballer for holding up her severed head of President, oh, President Trump thinking that was comedy. She said, if you don't want a civil war, vote for Democrats in November. If you do want a civil war, vote Republican. That's a threat. Now I'm going to go in on this threat. Carrie Lake says, the woman holding up a bloody head of the U.S. president just threatened civil war if you don't vote Democrat. Weird. Just last week, Joe Biden told us that MAGA Republicans are the violent ones. Projection. That's all they do is project and lie. The Democrats are frauds. Now let's go to the threat first. Who's she? Uh, civil war? <laughs> What? Um, who we fight? Who? Who? How? Exactly how that's gonna go down? We gonna be fighting the windmilling rainbows? We we fighting them? We fighting the meth heads and the crackheads over there on Antifa? They windmilling too? And the mammies windmilling for the white women? The windmillers against the guns. <laughs> The side that has the guns. Oh, wow. You know, it's funny to, to, to watch these Democrats spin out of control. They're like a bunch of retarded children. Retarded children that hasn't made it to preschool yet. That, you know, they just started preschool and they have, um, they want their way. They're just bad children. Not retarded children. Let's, let's say uh, children with bad behavior. Um, you know, those children where their mothers didn't raise them worth enough, nothing and halfway disciplined them and they just spin out of control and throw fits when they don't get their way. That's what the Democrat Party is doing right now. They throw fits. They want to threaten violence. They are in the street. They're rioting, everything. Listen to us. We want to be in charge. They're fascists. We're going to tear up the city if we don't get our way. We're going to riot and burn down everything if we don't get our way. They have tra trained the plantation slaves to do that to their own communities. Oh, when you get mad, go out here and riot and burn up your um, stores in your neighborhood. Tear up your own neighborhood where no one wants to put anything in your neighborhood because y'all don't know how to act. Because the white liberal told you to go out here and, sh and, and to, to protest, riot, you know, keep marching. That's what Michelle Obama told them. You're gonna keep marching, keep marching, keep wearing out shoes. Y'all gonna keep marching, y'all keep marching and for y'all marching for your rights. What rights do blacks not have? 
who's taking rights from black people? I'm so sick of them running around here talking about we want equity and equality. You have equality. What the hell are we, what are you talking about? You have so much equality. You got more than equality. They give you leg ups in everything, a lift up in everything to where I wouldn't even trust anyone that it's, that has went to school to, I wouldn't, I don't trust a, a, a black doctor. I really don't. Sorry. It's very hard for me to even depend of a certain age. Black doctors probably over the age of 55 or 60. I probably would trust that more than someone younger because they just give them a pass because they're a minority. And that's how they set it up because they are oppressed. We just have to push them on through. You think people aren't paying attention? But back to the threat. <laughs> the threat of Kathy Griffin. It's laughable, number one, but it also shows how the hypocrisy, because Joe Biden said the MAGA Republicans are the dangerous ones, the terrorists. We're the ones who want to, we're violent. No, we're not violent. We're not doing anything. We just, it's just more of us than there are of them. <laughs> They're outnumbered really bad now. Any, no one leaves, anyone that leaves the left never goes back to the left. They don't because they know how much of a liars they are. They know how much of a fraud there. It's like going back to a fraudulent. It's like that signing on for fraud. Signing on to be a part of a group that's full of shit, that makes up things, makes up a, a false reality. Here is Savage Florida Congressman Byron, um, Don, Byron Donalds going in on Joe Biden and the hypocrisy of, you know, the, that speech that he gave and and this, this terrible economy just showing how they don't have anything to run on at all, but yet they want to criticize MAGA Republicans and run on that and Trump as if that has anything to do with this recession, probably depression that we're going into. For violence, hate, and division. But together, we can and we must choose a different path. He also said in that speech that America has been able to overcome challenges because it is a nation of unity, of hope, of optimism. And that's something that he pledged during his inaugural address. And I'm wondering, in the last 18 months, where has the unity, the hope, and the optimism been for a united America? There is no unity. Joe Biden doesn't want unity. What Joe Biden wants is for every American to bend the knee to his agenda. What these Senate Democrats want is for you to do the same. They don't want competition. They don't want debate. They want to actually squelch and put down free speech. That's why they're working with social media companies to stop Americans from actually communicating on a myriad of topics, including COVID-19. So this is where we are. People need to understand this. Joe Biden's idea of unity is you do it his way and then you don't challenge him because everybody sees it anytime he's challenged by a member of the press or even a citizen in the audience. What does he start doing? He starts yelling. He starts, point, he starts pointing fingers. That's not leadership. That's demagoguery. That's actually an autocrat. And if you look at his actions, whether you want to talk about student loans or the fact that he ignores immigration law or anything else in between, this man does not care about the Constitution or the rule of law. Actually, Republicans do. That's why us MAGA Republicans, we are the ones fighting for the soul of America. We are the ones having to save America from Joe Biden and the Democrats. Now, the president is trying to make this election all about President Trump uh, and not about him. And while he is leading the charge in terms of rhetoric on the ground floor level, Democrats are spending millions of dollars trying to get elected in the primaries, candidates who have the imprimatur of Donald Trump, as opposed to candidates that they think might be able to beat the Democrat in, in November. Uh, you say that this is ripe for hypocrisy. Of course it is, because they're telling the American people, oh, these 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 Republicans are dangerous. But at the same time, who are they trying to support? America first Republicans, mm -hmm. people who are committed conservatives, who are not interested in the games of Washington, D.C. They're interested about actually getting the job done for the American people, because what the Democrats believe, I think it's wrong. But what they believe is, is that if you make Donald Trump the center of the ballot, they win and Republicans lose and they get to keep their majorities. But I got a funny thing to tell them 
time, they're going to be flat wrong. Because what the American people have seen in 19 months with Joe Biden at the helm is that the Democrat agenda has failed all Americans. Mm -hmm. And what people really want in our country, they want to go back to 2019 America, when our economy was growing, our streets were safe, our border was secure, our standing around the globe was number one, numero uno, and we actually had a president who was doing the job. You might have disagreed with something he tweeted here or there, but you knew the job was being done by the American yeah. president. Nobody has confidence in Joe Biden right now. You know what, president? Nobody. Not even his supporters, his fake supporters, even the meathead. The meathead from uh, the, uh, that, uh, from All in the Family that's a diehard liberal. You couldn't ask him, say, please tell me what has Joe Biden done since he's been in office that has, that's been successful, that made it better for Americans. Even the, the mammies that are out here windmilling and fighting for, uh, to kill their babies thinking that abortion is outlawed, but it's not. They can still go kill their babies if they want. <laughs> but for some reason, they gotta make this into some kind of lie. Then they got, they got this, the, the alphabet rainbows all jacked up talking about the don't say gay bill, and that bill doesn't say anything about don't say gay. I got that video coming to show you how crazy that cult is. That's why I have no, I, 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 it, it is a cult a cult of crazy foolishness, fake oppression. And, and Joe Biden is the demagogue. He's the, he's, the, he's the racist. The Democrats, I don't know anyone that leaves the Democrat party. I've never seen a person that left the Democratic party and went back there. Once you leave the Democrat party, you don't go back to that because they are complete frauds. You don't vote Democrat. Because if you're voting for Democrats, you're voting for fraud. You're voting for lies. You're voting for criminality. You're voting for corruption. Because that's all they're about. Look at who they, look at what they celebrate. Look what they got to train slaves and mammies conditioned to do. They champion criminals, criminality. They don't promote any. They don't promote true excel, excellence, being the best that you can be, lifting yourself up, going out here, improving yourself, do for self. No, you need help because you're a minority. You're less of. You're oppressed. So we got to help you. We got to give you something because you can't compete because of this white boogeyman. But every other minority can come here and outperform the white man. But you black Americans can't. The Democrats are frauds. They are all frauds. It is all projection and it is all about controlling you. Let's start with the Me Too and LGBTQIA communities movements. These people will march and march until their vagina hats and assless chaps fall off. But the minute there is a conflict between Israel and Palestine, they will time and time again side with the people who are harming gays and women. And they're not ashamed of this. And you know why? Because it's all a scam. This is not some grassroots movement like they'd have you believe. No, this is a business. It's trendy. It's, it's fun. They are frauds. Next, let's talk about the current day civil rights movement in America. This is simply a business that profits off of the lie that Americans of color are still being held down because of the color of their skin. They actually profit off of oppression. The very thing they claim to hate, they need. Next, we have the climate alarmists. Yes, it's a business. It's a green industry indeed. And the funny thing is, some of the loudest climate criers are some of the worst climate killers by their own rule. They are frauds. And all of these businesses posing as grassroots heartfelt movements are proud to call themselves Democrats. And last night, we saw the Biden administration's true colors, specifically red. Last night, this man on a stage that looks like it could speak German 
demonized, and I fear eventually will have criminalized anyone who doesn't agree with him. <laughs> remember, remember that one time that, that all the Democrats were afraid that Trump was going to do crazy stuff with the nuclear codes, and, and then Biden threatened gun owning Americans by saying that he had nukes? That was awesome. All that bad mouthing Trump that they did, what they were doing was they were projecting their lust for tyranny onto Trump to get him out of the way. And it worked. But you see, you have to listen to a Democrat a little bit differently. Because when a Democrat makes an accusation, he's actually telling a story about himself. They are all frauds. <laughs> Absolutely 100% frauds, everything, all their policies, they, they, their policies are terrible, they don't work, they're destructive. All you have to do to, to know, to judge a Democrat, judge that Democrat, Democrat like a tree, like in the Bible it says, judge that tree by its fruit. <laughs> That's tonight, <laughs> tonight's Bible study. Judge it by its fruit. And you look at that, uh, uh, look at that fruit. Look at Los Angeles, look at San Francisco, look at Portland, look at Seattle, Chicago, New York, Detroit, Baltimore. Can we can keep going on Memphis, Atlanta, Birmingham, every place, Miss Jackson, Mississippi. Check out Kiki's live stream. Go to Kiki Green's um, channel and you can see the truth. Or check out my live stream where I featured Kiki Green as she exposed the truth about what happened, what's going on in Jacksonville with that ongoing problem of water, them not having water, and it's all Democrat controlled. As they sit around and put out the false narrative that it's the white man, the government, the Republicans, they're all frauds and liars. And like I did that um, video, I'm going to have to re-upload it again because I put it on one of my other channels. I said, the whole climate change debate is over. Dead in the water until that sissy Obama sell that house in Martha's Vineyard. And if he doesn't sell that, that's right there on that oceanfront property. I know. Climate change is a hoax and a big old fat lie because of what Obama did. And now we got Nancy Pelosi on top of it, just bought beachfront property in Florida. So take your climate change and shove it up your ass. It's a hoax. It's a lie. Just, to produce, just for the Democrat investors who are invested in some fake green energy mess so you can buy into all that and they can get a cash out on it. They're nothing but a bunch of crooks, liars, and frauds. Put your comments below. Share my video. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. And if you support my work, get, um, you can support it with, by the links below or hit the Cash App uh, at Cash App dollar sign dot X Truth. Everyone have a blessed day. Please join me tonight for Power of the Living Word at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take care, everyone.